Hello dear students hope you are doing good welcome to youtube channel learn with gizla in this video of compound interest we shall study about growth and depreciation so first let's talk about growth in our day to day life we observe that there are things or entities such as population of a city weight and height of a human being the value of the property all these increase over a period of time under normal conditions the relative increase in such quantities or entities is called growth relative increase means increase in the quantity over original value growth per unit of time is called the rate of growth the increase in any quantity is same as the compound interest as we have done earlier because as the interest is added to the principal it increases its value and we get amount in the same way any increase in any of these quantities will increase its original value now let us study about formulas which we are going to use for the growth of any of the quantities there are total four cases which we are going to take up in case of population so let p0 be the population at the beginning of a year case 1 is if the population growth is constant for all the given number of years then population after n years is given by formula pn is equal to p0 in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n where pn is the population after n years p0 is the initial population r is the rate of growth which is constant and n is the number of years now in case 2 the population growth variates for the given number of years let it be say a percent for the first year and b percent for the second year then population after 2 years we can say that it is equal to p2 is equal to p0 in bracket 1 plus a upon 100 into 1 plus b upon 100 for first year it was a percent growth and second year it was b percent growth so accordingly we have the formula and we will get the population after 2 years now in case we have to find the increase in population after n years we shall use the formula population after n years minus original population that is pn minus p0 as we know that the population after n years will be more than the original population so we will subtract original population from population after n years so this is how this formula has come now we shall move to case 3 if the population decreases constantly for the given number of years say n by r percent then the formula is population after n years that is pn is equal to p0 in bracket 1 minus r upon 100 whole raised to power n where pn is the population after n years p0 is the initial population r is the rate of decrease and n is the number of years over here in this formula we have used minus sign in in place of plus sign in case of growth we were using plus sign and in case of decrease in the population we shall use minus sign now further if we have to find decrease in population after n years we shall use the formula original population minus population after n years that is p0 minus pn it is exactly opposite to the increase in population because over here population after n years will decrease it will be less than the original population so population after n years will be subtracted from the original po population so we shall get the formula p0 minus pn now let us come to case 4 it is actually an extension of second case where the population was growing at different rates for a given number of years say first year it was a percent growth second year it was b percent growth and so on but it was growing whereas in case 4 it is growing or decreasing in the subsequent years let it be say it increased a percent and b percent for the first and second year respectively and decreased c percent in the third year then population after 3 years is given by formula 
P3 is equal to P0 in bracket 1 plus A upon 100 into 1 plus B upon 100 into 1 minus C upon 100. So in case of growth in the first two years, we are using plus sign and in case of decrease in the population, we are using minus sign. Now let's learn about depreciation. The value of a machine or a building or any other such article subject to wear and tear due to constant use, they decrease over period of time. Relative decrease in the value of such machine or building over a period of time is called its depreciation. Relative decrease means decrease in their value over the original value. Depreciation per unit of time is called the rate of depreciation. The value at any time is called the depreciated value. Now let's learn the formula which is used for depreciation. So if V is the value of machine at a certain time and R percent per annum is the constant rate of depreciation for n number of years, then we can say the value of machine after n years which we also call depreciated value is given by formula Vn is equal to V0 in bracket 1 minus R upon 100 whole raised to power n where Vn is the depreciated value that means the decreased value after the n number of years. V0 is the initial value, R is the rate of depreciation and n is the number of years. Now in case we have to find the amount of depreciation so we shall use the formula original value minus depreciated value that is V0 minus Vn. Since depreciated value is less than the original value, we will subtract depreciated value from the original value to get the amount of depreciation. So this is the whole concept about growth and depreciation. Always remember whenever there is an appreciation or growth in any of the quantities, we shall use plus sign in the formula and whenever there is depreciation or decrease in the quantity, we shall use minus sign in the formula. So hope you have enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.